So this is going to be half vlog, half update on the water cooling series, and as you can probably see, I'm pretty far through the build now. And I have to say, guys, I love doing this stuff. I'm like a pig in shit, excuse the French. Nothing gives me more pleasure than just sitting there, planning out a loop, building custom PCs, and making videos and sharing them with you guys. So it's been a thoroughly enjoyable process. Coming to the end now, so we're about 90, 95% I'd say finished uh, on this particular build. And pretty much all I've got left to do is two more runs of tubing, one of which is bloody challenging and I've had to go for quite a novel approach. It's just far too tight a corner and I need to do two bends and as I try and do the second bend, I just mess up the first bend that I did. So I've had to do some, some novel stuff there. But no, no, you're skipping ahead. We're here to talk about pumps and reservoirs. Now, the actual process of fitting a pump and a reservoir ain't rocket science, guys. It basically involves drilling four holes in your case that line up with the thing that you're going to bolt and attach it to. I'm not going to teach you how to drill cases. What I am going to talk to you about is planning. Now, thinking ahead, thinking again about how your particular loop is going to run, thinking about how you want things to line up is quite important. Getting this wrong can make your life infinitely more difficult when you come in particular to doing a hard line tubing run. So, I like to do some test fits. I like to get some scrap bits of tubing out. I like to get some fittings put on. Make sure that you've got all of the things that are gonna be fixed in positions like radiators and blocks are all in there. This is a variable. You can move this around and you can locate it in different places. You also need to think about any upgrades in the future. So we've currently only got one graphics card in here at the moment. As I said in my last video, I'm almost certainly going to add in a second uh, SLI configuration, possibly from the other rig, but again, you're skipping ahead. So my original plan was to use a mounting plate against the radiator uh, that's on the front of the case. When I tried to do that, if I had ever put a graphics card in any of the bottom slots, it wouldn't have actually fit. The case is too tight. Even with this really thin 30 mil radiator, if by the time I put a mounting plate on there and attached the, uh, the pump and the reservoir, it was far too tight. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I probably did somewhere in the order of four or five different test fittings to get this right. On your head be it guys, right? You'll suffer, you'll fall foul of this and you'll, you'll, you'll be cursing yourself so four or five test fits later, I decided that I needed to drill some holes in the bottom of the case. Start with the smallest drill bit that you have and just go up by small increments, bit by bit by bit by bit. It feels really pedantic and painful, but you're gonna get much, much, much cleaner drill hole in there. It's gonna remove the need for filing and sanding. Whatever you do, make sure you use a center punch. That's gonna make sure that you drill bit isn't going to skip all over the place as you actually try and start to drill into the metal. And, you know, again, line up those holes. Every time you drill a hole, get your plate back on there, get your center punch out and line it up really, really carefully. If you get this wrong, if one of those holes is just slightly out, you're not going to be able to get the bolt through and you're going to be having a bad day. I used M5 bolts on these. That was the largest size of bolt that would fit the particular bracket that I had. So again, you know, M5, that's five millimeters. So I drilled five millimeter holes. I do need to get some slightly shorter bolts. I thought about cutting these, but as enthusiastic as I am on water cooling, I'm not quite that enthusiastic in cutting bolts. So I've got long bolts in there for now, but I will shorten those and I'll probably get some black bolts as well. The silver doesn't really fit the overall theme of the build. As I say, so to reiterate guys, make sure you do lots of test fittings, get some scrap bits of tubing out, get those lined up, make your life easy, otherwise you're gonna to have to add in more bends, or worse yet, you're gonna to have to add in loads of extra fittings. They really add in quite a bit of expense to the build, and uh, you know, we, we spent enough already on this guys, right? You know, fittings really add nothing if they can be avoided. 
Make sure that you strip all the components out when you do your drilling, otherwise you run the risk of damaging those. I actually stripped out both radiators, the motherboard, obviously the GPU, because there was no motherboard in there, and the PSU, so it was pretty much just the chassis itself. So there we go guys, I hope that's helpful. Uh, please like and share this video, and subscribe if you're not. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are, and I'll see you in the next part of my water pool cooling guide.